Hey what's up guys welcome back to another video in this video we will learn how easily we can purchase our preferred domain and hosting to host our website so without any further delay let's start it now to buy a domain and hosting my most favorite website is namecheap web url is namecheap.com to host our website at first we need to purchase hosting now if I click on this hosting option, here you can see they are providing different type of hosting. But for normal average user, we need to use shared hosting. It is very much cheap and easy to use and easy to set up. And here you can see they are offering three different packages. Number one is seller, $2.80 per month. The Seller Plus is most popular, $4.80 per month and Seller Business is $8.80 per month. In the Seller Package here you can see we can set up up to 3 websites, 20GB SSD, this is space, US or UK data center and unmetered bandwidth. So for our coupon business, the Seller Package is perfect. Now to buy this one, I just simply select add to cart. And in this tab here you can see, they told us to select any of these option. If we want to purchase domain name from this Namecheap website, then just simply choose purchase a domain name. Or if you want to get a free dot website extension domain, then choose this option. Or if you have an another account with Namecheap and want to connect this domain name with this hosting, then choose the third one. Or if you already purchased your domain from different register, then choose this fourth option. Now I want to purchase our domain name from Namecheap. That's why I choose purchase a new domain. And in this domain name box, I just simply type pilotcoupon.com and after entering pilotcoupon.com here you can see this domain name is available now if you want to purchase this domain name for one year then here you can see it cost $8.80 per month and renew cost will be $10.90 now I just simply select add new domain to chart and now I click on continue. Now in shopping chart here you can see our order preview. Domain registration for one year $8.80, who is guard which is free for forever and hosting for one month. From this drop down menu, I just simply choose one year because I want to purchase this hosting for one year and after that one year, I just simply renew this hosting service again. Look at this. For one year purchase, for 12 months, I have to pay only $15.44 for first year and the renew cost will be $30.80. So hosting package I just simply choose one year then just simply press confirm order. Now to create a new account just simply put a username. This time I type my username, my preferred username. Then I put my password. I just confirm my password and just simply put my first and last name. And in email address, to create a Namecheap account, I just simply put my preferred email account. Email address. Then if you want to sign up for their Namecheap newsletter and marketing communication, then check this one, this time I just uncheck this one and click on create and continue.
now this time i just uncheck this one and put my address city state postal code and from this drop down menu i just select my country bangladesh and from phone number i just select my country extension which is plus 880 now from this drop down menu i just choose this one and put the mobile number all right now i just simply click on continue now we are in this page here you can see our order preview and to make sure that you check this one associate to this domain and enable at the time of purchase now i click on continue now to pay this amount 24.50 dollar we need to select our payment preferred payment gateway now i choose paypal and click on continue now i click on checkout with paypal but before this we need to check this check the terms and condition now i check this one and select checkout paypal now i just log in with my paypal account and pay this amount with paypal now wait for a moment they are processing our order now they set up our hosting environment and connect our preferred selected domain with hosting it takes around maximum 24 hours so wait for a few more moments and after that we can easily set up our website now here you can see they told us thank you for your order and they went feedback from us this is optional that's why i just simply close this one all right everything is complete now if i go to my gmail account then here you can see our order summary and in between 24 hours namecheap in bi email namecheap will send you hosting information and many other details so once i receive other emails from namecheap then i will start recording this lecture again after 10 minutes later i got these two emails from namecheap if i open the first one here you can see they give us hosting package details server hostname ip address main domain and cpanel details as well using these cpanel details we can easily log in in our cpanel using this username and password and can easily install wordpress in our website we can see we will see everything how to set up wordpress in our website in the next lecture and here you can see some other information hosting server 1 and hosting server 2 ftp account details and so on and in the next email here you can see here you can see immediate verification is required for your domain now to verify this i just simply click on this link and yes verification is done awesome so we just successfully purchased our domain and hosting package now this time we will install wordpress cms in our website now if i go to this url our website url then look at this this website is blank 
and our website is ready to go. Now to WordPress, now to install WordPress CMS in this pilotcoupon.com website. At first, we need to log in in cPanel. In this name chip email, here you can see they provide us cPanel access link, username and password. Now I just simply open up this access cPanel link and copy the cPanel username and paste it and in the same way I just simply copy my cPanel password and paste it right here. And now I click on log in. So we just successfully log in in our cPanel. To log in in cPanel, actually always we need access cPanel URL, username and password. So keep this information in your computer. So basically this is our cPanel. Now if I click in file manager, then in this space we can see all of our hosting files. In public HTML, here you can see all of these unnecessary files. Now, if I delete this, all of these files, then now look at this. Our website is now empty. Now, to install WordPress CMS in this website, in cPanel, I just simply scroll down a little bit. And in installer, here you can see an option WordPress. Now I just simply click on this. Now I click on install now. Choose protocol, just simply set this one http colon slash slash domain name is pilotcoupon.com. Then site name, this time I just simply type pilot coupon. Now inside description, I just simply type my coupon website. And of course, you can always change this information, site name and description later. And now under admin account, admin username, I just set my username pilot coupon. And now I just simply type my password and here now I type my email address shortcut mashuk at the rate of gmail.com and from this drop down choose language I just simply choose English and if you want to install caching plugin in your WordPress website, then you can check WT Total Cache or W3 Super Cache. I always prefer WP Super Cache. That's why I just check this one. Now, if I expand these advanced options, here you can see our website database name, table prefix, and etc. From these automatic backups, from this drop down just simply choose once a week and in backup rotation drop down choose 3 now in this email installation details goes to in this box I just simply paste my email address now to install WordPress I just simply click on install now wait for a moment it may take 3 to 4 minutes. And yes, our installation is done. Now if I open up our website pilotcoupon.com, here you can see we just successfully installed WordPress CMS in our website. Now if you want to log in in your website dashboard, then just simply in your browser type pilotcoupon.com slash wp hyphen admin just type this one and here you can see we just successfully log in in our website dashboard and also in email 
you will get your website your website installation location admin url username password database name etc and yes this is how you can easily purchase your preferred domain and hosting and able to install wordpress in your own website and of course if you want to purchase domain and hosting from namecheap at the special price then check this video description below thank you so much for watching see you in the next video and of course don't forget to subscribe this channel to watch more upcoming videos peace